Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. This is Crafting with Lucinda Carroll. So today is a little bit different. I'm not making any 4th of July projects or spring projects, but I'm making jewelry. And I'm so excited that I have been able to uh, get this process down and make a couple of earrings so that I actually could share with you guys. So, um... If you will bear with me just a little bit, I want to take you through a couple of things that I did. Um, I've already I already have some stuff already um, laid out and prepared, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through um, what I've already done thus far. So, a couple things that you're going to need is you're going to need some fabric stiffener. Now, let me just go back and share with you that my earrings are actually made from fabric. Yes, I said fabric. And once you see the end project, you're going to really love it. Um, and I was super excited on how they turned out. But I was really nervous about working with this fabric stiffener. Um, I'd never done anything with um, fabric, fabric stiffener. I didn't even know this stuff even existed. Um just because I never really done a whole lot of stuff with fabric. So I was watching um, a video on YouTube and I do apologize because I really do like to give credit to where credit is due. But um, I cannot right off at this moment remember the young lady's video that I was watching. But she um, shared, with, uh, shared with her audience how to um, stiffen your fabric a little bit. In order for you to be able to cut it with your Cricut machine. So what I did was I just, um, you know, lathered my material, my fabric down with um, this fabric softener, fabric stiffener, sorry. Um, and I let it dry overnight. And when it dry, when it dried overnight, it, it was a little bit, um, it was a little bit stiffer. Um, Hold on a second, and I'll show you. See how you can see how that fabric is, whereas this is not as I mean you can't you can't ball that up as um easy. So it does have it does have a little stiffening to it, and that's what you want in order to be able to cut it in your um your Cricut machine. So what I did is I let this dry overnight. The next day I came in and um, I put it on my board, on my crafting board. I'm oh, not my crafting board, I'm sorry. My board for my material. material, And it's actually um, the pink board here with, uh, the, if, you, if you use Cricut, um, it's actually the fabric grip. That's what I was trying to find the word for, fabric grip. So, if... Um, if you have that board, then um, you can you can use that. If not, I have seen some videos where they did use it on the blue mat, and they used um, painters tape around the edges of the material to actually secure it to the to the board or to the mat a little bit more, so that when it runs through your machine, it's not getting caught up. But um, I do recommend the fabric grip because it does hold a little bit better. And still, even with the fabric grip, I will put a, a few pieces on, uh, a few pieces of this painter tape on my mat just to make sure that it doesn't get caught up under the wheels. So either way, I mean, I think it's just a, a good um, recommendation to use this if you have it available. Um, so once I got my computer set up and what I did is I just went in and I Googled, um, a teardrop earring. And so there was a, a PNG file that was free that was available. And if I can go back and find that, I will link it down below. But as you can see, um, it already has the holes already cut in and so that's really what I like about um this when I cut it out it cut it out precise I mean the holes and everything 
So what I wanted to do was actually let you see the cutout out of my fabric. So this is what it looks like once I got it cut out because I cut out a couple different sizes. Um, I cut out a large size and I cut out a medium size. And I actually found a feather, a feather one. So I actually cut it out as well. And I'm telling you guys, I'm super excited um, as to how these earrings turned out. But very easy project. I recommend that when you do let your fabric dry overnight, that you put something on the ends of each, each corner of your fabric. That way it lays flat on your surface and it's not going to roll up because it will roll up once it dries because it's beginning it's, it's stiffening up so it will it will roll up on you so i'll usually normally just use this on a corner of my um fabric and a couple more bottles on the other sides and when i when i start to come in and cut the next morning everything's everything's laid out really pretty um so with that being said, I do want to show you what the earrings turned out like. Um, I'm so excited. And um, although I have this project already completed and I know I'm kind of going fast through this video, um, I will, uh, once I start cutting out some more earrings, I'll actually do another video. But I just wanted to get on here right quick and just kind of show you something that I'm doing different. Um, I know that. You know, some of you have been following my crafts um, on, face, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. And I greatly appreciate that. Um, so, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. But, here is the finish project. And, you guys, I absolutely love this. Um, when I was trying to get my clip together at the top of my earring i i thought to myself what could i do to um just kind of make this stand out and two to actually kind of cover up the ends where the holes at and so i had some pieces left over from when i was making bangle bracelets a couple years ago and i was like okay let's try this so i absolutely love how this turned out um it looks like it it's heavy but in actuality it is not it's really lightweight um but is that not the, is that not the cutest so i'm going to lay this aside because i do have two more pair other pair that i want to share with you um these are probably the those are my the, these are my first these are my my top favorite these are my second top favorite favorite and i absolutely love how these turned out um instead of the bead and this one is a little bit smaller than um this the first set i made but is this this not the cutest i mean it is gorgeous and what i did was i i had some extra um pearls from just a crafting project and I added it to my earring so I'm absolutely loving these pair this is my second favorite pair and then my third pair are the feathers that I made and I love these um, as well uh, I like the way uh, the the feather cut out it, it was really pretty so you can you can see the edges of how it cut out and then I just added again some extra beads that I had left over I, I wondered what I would ever do with those beads and so now I'm in the earring making mood and so this is what I'm doing with them so I really really do like how these turned out um very simple very simple um 
you would think that this would the, the material would be flimsy but it's not when you use the fabric stiff stiffener it stiffens that fabric up a little bit and so it just it's just perfect for this project um, I'm, I'm excited about moving into making some leather earrings so I just wanted to share my first three projects with you with making earrings and I hope that you guys enjoyed this I hope that you took away something from it and you feel inspired to make you some earrings as well um, also I want to say that my beads um, my pearls my stones um, all these um my earring pieces everything came from hobby lobby so i, I just want to make sure that i um put that out there that you know i did purchase this from Hob purchase and the actual cloth came from hobby lobby as well um the, the material so if you go to the material section in hobby lobby um i mean pretty much any kind of print that you want to go with i'll actually show you i have this cloth that i'm debating about i have this cloth that i'm debating about making some earrings and i also have <clears throat> um some fourth of july cloth that or material material that i'm thinking about um making some earrings with so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel um i don't post every week i do work a full-time job but i really do love um getting on youtube and um just seeing what everybody's doing and supporting um others um youtube channel so if you would come on over and um support me so i hope you guys have a blessed and lovely evening Thanks, you guys.